But um, for years, I never had a, we never, we had a basic conversation, you know, as a, as a crew about mm -hmm. um, hood and, you know, what B-Hood is, you know, B-Hood all day. Yeah. And I remember one time where we really, I remember the last real conversation I had, I don't know if you was around, I don't know if you was here, but it was like, Pud, um, shout out to, shout out to, wait, shout out to the bros, wait, I forgot, we got some, more, some more shout outs, but shout out to Pud, shout out to ATF, shout out to Sunny, shout out to Kappa, the shout, out to Molly, shout out to Doe, shout out to all the Molly. kids, Thanks. all of that, sis, Vita, everybody, I'm a, auntie, Yana, Tiny, I mean, let, I'm sorry, let, the list goes on, but, but bro, I'm talking to, um, I'm talking to all of them, right, it was Pudge, Doe, it, it was Pudge and really, um, and ATM. And I'm like, they like, yo, somebody, some, and and Doe was there too. They was like, yo, some kids in their high school wanted to be down with B Hood. It's like, yo, we we want to be down, whatever. Um, uh, and we we can recruit them. And they came out and like, nah, <laughs> like this ain't that situation. Like this is like, and that's, and and that's why I always said though, if you feel like they a loved one, if they feel like you feel like they your brothers, bring them in. It ain't no you. What you gonna do? We gonna jump you in it. This ain't that type of situation. It ain't that type of, yeah, yeah. Probably. Yeah, this ain't that. You ain't gotta do nothing to get initiated. You gotta be who you gotta be genuine right. enough to be you initiated. That's, that's it. That's a fact. That's a fact. So, I say that to say this. Now, there's a backstory now to like, okay, so like, as where we are on the flag that we got with the brotherhood, like the christening of that whole thing, was when well, you remember when we had the um the, the, the first B Hood CD, right? Mm -hmm. Like that first mixtape we did with Dren mm -hmm. and all that. And well, wait, with Buck. Shout out, shout out to Dren. Shout out. Oh, yeah. And by the way, this is melting pot right here. This is Dren. If y'all want right. this, yeah, Dren, everything for everybody. Yeah, shout out to the bro forever. You know what I mean? I'm definitely that this is the year I'm definitely gonna be trying to um reconnect with them, but um they was like, um, so yeah, you know, we represent the brotherhood and all that stuff and be hood. We talk about different things and different ways we're going to flip it. But um, the concept now of the brotherhood has been put out in there in hip hop and battle rap. And for a while, when, it, when I first heard it, I'm like, I'm waiting and I want to hear who's going to say something about this. Is somebody going to say something? Is somebody going to mention it, right? Yeah. And, um, the reason why I say that now, because Adept H and I see now, he's like exposing like that whole brotherhood situation in battle rap and hip hop. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so in, we're gonna say in battle rap, but we can see that that's something deeper. And I was like, oh, wow, that's amazing. What if somebody sees the, like, by the way, let me let me put this up here right now. Somebody see it and they see us represented right here as B Hood and they think that we attached to that. So I was like, yo, one of these days, I'm spazzing on that. First of all, I'm banging on that brotherhood. First of all, that that's that's just how I rep. And 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 I'm saying this to say, the concepts that y'all use in there is absent of where this comes from. So let me break this down to you now. This is a little a little deep, but brotherhood is a translation. I'm talking about the people who use satanic ish behavior. This is where we we just spoke about where we originated it from, right? We talked about mm -hmm. that. We don't deal with that now. I'm gonna get exposed stuff that they don't even realize that they they, they might some people might know the higher people in, with, with the higher knowledge and, and and understanding they're gonna know this. But here here this out. This is all you can research. This all you know. I'm a historian, certified and self certified. But um, fere maison, fere maison. It's a French phrase. When I told you that stuff was stolen, that Egypt, a lot of comedic stuff, I mean, by the time it was called Egypt, stuff was already stolen. It's Kemet, it's Kemet, Kush. Mm -hmm. When we talk about Sudan, those type of things, those empires we'll be talking about, Ethiopia, Ethiopias, it literally means the dark skinned people, the land of the dark skinned people, not just one little one country. It was that whole continent was called Ethiopia, any Ethiopias. So my point being, bro, for their maison, means brotherhood in French. That's what they call the section of the laws that they, that they I'm gonna say that they stole, right? They stole it and then they plagiarized it. So when you see like the concepts of the chakras, the Kabbalah, um, these are concepts that come from what you call like the book of the dead. That's what they call it here. But they were about like the Trinity of Isis, Osiris, and um, um, <clears throat> Heru or Horus. <laughs> or what we say in, in Kemet is, is, As is Asar, Aset, and Heru, right? 
the Greek words is Osiris, Isis, and Horus. Horus. I say all that to say this. That trinity is not like, that's not even the epitome of this. People look at that trinity. That's like a physical rep. That's like thinking that Jesus is the almighty or whatever. Jesus is just this physical representation. That's what that trinity is. The real one is Amin Ra in the concept. That's why till this day, there's no body who doesn't end their prayers. Well, we're gonna we, let's stick to the Christians. I'm not gonna get into everything else. But as far as Christianity, it's ended with Amen. amen. Mm-hmm. Nobody questions what Amen are they talking about? Where else do we hear about hear this phrase, this name? Because Amen is just saying that all of this sums up into one. We're all one. That's what brotherhood meant in Kemet. That's what our brotherhood meant naturally. Before I even learned this stuff, that's mm-hmm. what we did on the block, bro. That's, that's why I said this is man. universal. That, and that's what this means is universal laws. So for their Mason, that's where they get the word Freemason. There's no such thing as a Freemason. What's a Freemason? It's a, a, I mean, people call themselves Freemasons. I'm not saying, of course, there's people who say that they're Freemasons. But mm-hmm. is there something called a locked Mason? Is there a slave Mason? What's the opposite of a Freemason? It's not free. The phrase is for they. For they, Maison, is a word together. It's one word. It means brotherhood. Because they stole the language, the, I mean, they stole the concepts of the, the, the spirituality, those foundations, they thought that, oh, well, for they, Maison, we're going to say Freemason. Now, some people, obviously, if I was able to read and learn this stuff, there's people in, in higher power who knows this. But I'm pretty sure these low level people don't realize when they're saying brotherhood, what that really means, how it just connected to Amen, Ra, and all that stuff. They mm-hmm. think it's some other stuff, and that's where the satanic ish behavior becomes crazy because there's a whole bunch of room in that concept to say that. Or well, all within that is saying that we're all one, right? So that mm-hmm. means that you can't call somebody. It's like <clears throat> the concept of, of, of like, um, what they call like the virgin birth and all that stuff and all these things, they come from inside this and they use those concepts to bastardize things. You know what? I'm going to stop right there with it. But that's what I wanted to say. It's a difference. That brotherhood is some brotherhood stuff that whatever umbrella, and it's not, I'm not judging them, but this is something that we naturally are. And you guys represent something that I, that for years I never said anything because I'm like, listen, Y'all doing y'all thing. I don't see anything wrong with it. I don't have no, if you got the same name, so who cares what? If there's another bill, like those are things that as my, when I was younger, I was trained to, to be that way. Like if somebody say something, it's like they take, they disrespect you. So you got to jump up and get at them. Now mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, no, it's either a misunderstanding, not, a coincidence, sure. or you just showing respect. Mm-hmm. No disrespect. I don't, it's no disrespect taken. But on this side, it's good. To, it's, it's a much needed thing to understand, especially where we in the, like battle rap circles and hip hop circles. And we are clearly, you know, I mean, we, we, we going beyond that in many levels. But mm-hmm. I don't want that to be represented. Like, but don't misrepresent me because it's a thin, very line here. Like I'm open and cool with everybody. I don't want no energy. Unless you come with lies and all type of nonsense and you're not coming with humility. I ain't got time for that energy. So I'm separating that now. This live is for you guys. I'm going to make this into show. I'm going to cut this clip up. Just stay away from me. This is a different type of brotherhood. Like, y'all keep that stuff there. No judging. But don't, ain't got nothing to do with that. B Hood. B Hood. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, what's your thoughts? Any any thoughts on that? No, nah, man. It, it was beautiful to hear that breakdown. You know, I, did, I wasn't um, uh, knowledgeable of that that fact well those facts is is good to actually know that you know and you know for the people to even know that to you know differentiate the two but yeah that was beautiful that was beautiful and yeah i mean <laughs> nah, and, and Brother, I'll add this life, too. man well not add this but like i said it wasn't a big deal but i i said the um point is it's, I'm an educator, naturally. Like, I love to teach. And I feel like um, people either don't know a lot of this stuff or the people who do know, for whatever reason, they're scared to teach. But I love to teach. So this is like this is like my yeah. daily duty. Um, yeah. 